Welcome back, creepy kitties. So, as most of you know, the subjects of these drawing videos are decided with a poll that's posted on the Scapula Comics page on Patreon. And for this week's poll, the subject was Lon Chaney, the man of a thousand faces, and some of the biggest roles that he played. So my patrons were able to vote between The Phantom of the Opera, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, London After Midnight, because I figured those are three of his most famous roles, even if London After Midnight is still missing. And the fourth slot just had to be filled by something else. I had considered maybe Dr. Ziska from The Monster, which is a fun little film, and Professor Echo from The Unholy Three, both the silent and the sound version, the sound version being Lon Chaney's only talking movie. For some reason, I decided to go with Alonzo the Armless from a film called The Unknown, and I figured it was going to be a slot that, you know, it just had to fill up four slots and maybe nobody was going to vote for him. And of course, maybe out of spite, maybe out of trying to deceive the universe, Every single patron voted for Alonzo the Armless. Every one of them. The Phantom of the Opera? Nope, not a vote. Hunchback of Notre Dame? Nope, not a vote. The Babadook? Oh, I'm so blah, blah, blah. Uh, London After Midnight? Not a vote. Everyone voted for Alonzo. So, to my patrons who are listening out there, I gotta ask, why him? Is the name Alonzo the Armless just really catchy? Or possibly have you all seen The Unknown and it's just a really, really good film that you all like? I really want to know because it's kind of baffling that I've never done a poll where one character got every single vote, especially from a movie this obscure. Okay, so The Unknown, hopefully you guys have all seen this film if you all voted for it, is a very bizarre love triangle story about a circus freak who goes by the name of Alonzo the Armless. Of course, as we find out, he actually does have arms, and he also has um, some interesting features, such as two thumbs on his left hand, which I'm drawing here, so he's not quite armless, and this is all a case of false advertising. The movie also stars Joan Crawford, yes, Miss Pepsi-Cola herself, and apparently she she was very much influenced by Lon Chaney. They also had something very big in common. They were both terrible parents! We all know the stories about Christine and the coat hangers. Yes, there's been a movie about that too. But from what's been told, Lon Chaney himself was a horrible father and beat the living daylights out of his son, Creighton Tall Chaney, better known to the world as Lon Chaney Jr., for no really good reason. And yeah, as someone who grew up in an abusive household, that really doesn't sit well with me. But... It's there, it's history, and what are we going to do about it? So, for those of you who are able to separate art from the artist, yes, there's still a lot to love about Lon Chaney, still an incredible actor, still an incredible makeup man. He is really the only of his kind before the makeup unions made that sort of thing impossible. His son apparently was also a great makeup artist, but we never got to see those skills because of the unions. And he's still one of a kind in his field. He was horror's first movie superstar. He is probably still an influence today. Like I said, his creations are still influencing modern monsters. Babadook in London After Midnight, that connection. And there's still a lot to be loved in his films, even the ones that aren't quite as known, like The Unknown. Lon's performance as Alonso is still very well done. Critics give it two thumbs up. <laughs> Yeah, definitely check out The Unknown if you haven't seen it. And if you have seen it, and you were a patron who voted for it, I think I can totally understand why you did it now. It's still a really wonderful, bizarre movie. Okay, guys, thank you very much for voting again, and tune in for the next video when we will be discussing one of Cheney's more famous roles. Bye-bye.